Has there ever been an event in your life that inspired you so much that it stayed with you months later? All of a sudden, things just kind of clicked for you and revealed a deeper understanding or a deeper appreciation. Some people call this the aha moment. Well, here it is months after the Winter Olympics, and I can't stop thinking about something that was said during an interview with downhill skier Lindsey Vaughn. You may recall that Lindsey Vaughn was in the running to win a gold medal. She was doing a pre-Olympics practice run, took a big fall, and injured her shin. She was in excruciating pain just from putting her ski boot on and could barely stand. Imagine for a moment how devastating the timing of that injury would be just days away from her event. During an interview, Lindsay was asked about her injury and if she was planning to still compete. Her response was simple, almost unfazed. She said that athletes are rarely competing at 100% and that she would deal with her injury and make the necessary adjustments to compensate for it. I'll never forget, she would do her best to compete at her highest level and simply choose to not focus on her injury, but on her goal of winning the gold medal. What a great reframe. So my aha moment was this. The Olympics taught me that people are rarely competing at 100%. And you might be thinking, duh, right? So what do you do? Let's translate this to you and your practice. How do you choose to show up every day in practice? Because let's face it, the reality is we're all either getting over something or we're just about to get into something. Only a tiny percent of us are at 100% every day. So just like skipping the Winter Olympics was not an option for Lindsey Vaughn, skipping out on our practices isn't an option either. So major lesson learned. Expect the best of yourself to show up every day. Kick the procrastination and the excuses to the curb and take action. Don't wait until you're at 100%. If we wait until we feel 100%, will never be in the game. Plus, the health of your community needs you and your outstanding services. So here's your action step for today. Take one thing that you've been waiting until tomorrow to take care of. Maybe it's that phone call to invite a referral source to lunch, or it's the list of inactive patients that your team has been asking you to contact. Maybe you've been putting off planning your marketing calendar. Whatever it is, take that one thing and apply the best of you to it today. The results? Your gold medal is practice growth. You're helping more people, making more money, and making an impact in your community. Until next time, we wish you health and happiness, and here's to growing your practice from within.